Let's look at this following example. A person pulls a 50 kilogram crate 40 meters along a horizontal floor by a constant force Fa equals 100 newton, which acts at a 37 degree angle as shown below. The floor is rough and, ex and exerts a friction force of 50 newtons. Determine A, the work done by each force acting on the crate, and B, the net work done on the crate. So let's first look at um, Mg. So we can look at the work done from gravity. And we have Wg equals the force times the distance times the cosine theta. In this case, we have the force, which is Mg. The distance, right, we have as the x value, which is the 40, times cosine theta. But notice that the cosine theta is going to be cosine of 90 degrees. This is equal to zero. So the work done by gravity in this case, since it's perpendicular to the distance, is going to be zero. Let's look at the work done from the normal force. So we have Fn times d times cosine 90 again, and we're going to see that it also equals zero. So then we can look at the work done from the person pulling, which is going to be the force of the pull, which is 100 newtons, times the distance, which is 40, times cosine of 37. If we plug that in, what we get is 3,200 joules. If we then look for friction, we have 50 times 40 times cosine of 180, because that's the angle, we get negative 2,000 joules. So that's the work done by each force. If we want to find the network, we just add all of these up. So if we add zero, or we have zero plus zero plus 3,200 minus 2,000, what we get 